Your Excellency Sheikh Saad Al Thani, dear and excellent President of the Swimming Federation, Khalil Al Jabir, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is a great pleasure to welcome you all here in Doha, Qatar, a city that is ready to enter in the FINA history. For the first time ever, the CERS FINA World Aquatic Convention will be immediately following the second, the, the 12th FINA World Swimming Championship short course. This joint organization will constitute a new model for the future of aquatics. The purpose of the World Aquatic Convention is to implement one of the main objectives of FINA strategy, the active support of the 207 national member federation in the five continent and to all our aquatic discipline. This summarizes preciously the first goal of this convention to provide development tools to all of you, our national federation. This is a strategy that consider essential for the future progress, strength, and image of our national bodies, which is, is why I am looking forward in the great program we have put together for all of you. Bus, both for the World Aquatic Convention and the second edition of the FINA Swimming Coaches Golden Clinic taking place tomorrow. Has working hard to create a platform where, where lead in a sport, expert and top level together with the share their knowledge hundred with strategies with all of you. Last time, both group program was very successful and will appreciate initiative at the we hope that this time will be even will be even better. The second goal of this convention is to continue and improve the collaboration with our partners. We need to establish new strategies for the future so that we, we can find the best possible way to enhance the importance of sport and the value of FINA and National Federation. This is why we encourage all of you to take advantage in the in in the networking opportunities here and visit the exhibition and all this convention. Through the free discussion and exchange of point of view, new synergy can be found and the next partnership can be established. Since the first edition of the convention in 2010 in Punta del Este, Uruguay, the importance and recognition of our sport can continue steadily grow. After an outstanding edition of the Olympic Games in London, FINA was promoted on the fair group of the IOC concerning the contribution made to the International Federation to the success of the Olympic Games. This was proven among many other items by impressive level of TV audience and worldwide digital exposure of aquatic. Our sport is among the best and the due to all of you. In the summer of 2013, a memorable World Championship took place in Barcelona, Spain, attracting a cumulative audience of over 4.5 billion TV viewers in the five continents. 
The level of participation in this championship was also impressive. Last year in Spain, we had 2,200 athletes from 177 nations. In 2015, we will introduce a new concept. The FINA World Championship in Kazan, Russia, the star of our sixth discipline, will compete at the highest level. But we have also invited our master athletes to compete in the FINA World Master Championship that will be steadily immediately after the elite event. This creates an extraordinary aquatic event across all levels. In the area of development, in 2014, we launched a new project, the FINA Scholarship Program, targeted for athletes seeking the participation at the World Champions, Championship and Olympic Games. The idea is to send swimmers from all over the world to selected FINA-approved high-performance centers so that this athlete can refine and improve their training methods, the well-known and the better coach. Also this year, we made significant step in our new initiative, Swim for All, Swim for Life program. This program is special for me because it is aimed at increase the practice of swimming among, among the youth particularly improving the level of physical activities of your use, but importantly to reduce the dramatic rate of drawing in the five continents. Otherwise, we continue implementing various programs, clinics, school, swimming coaches, and FINA official certifications, and also supporting our member through the IOC Solidarity Program for Coaches and Officials. As you see, we have done a lot and we are working hard for do more. Our sport is continually, continually growing and FINA is securing a stronger position with the world competitive sport markets. As I have said many times, only together we can make FINA stronger. The presence of all of you here in Doha, Qatar, proved that we are here united by the same goals. On behalf of FINA, I would like to thank each of the delegates, lecturers, exhibitors, official partners, namely Arena, Kunzilman, Hoseker, Gloria, Sport Arena, and Mastman supporter and supplier, organizer of the Bider of FINA event, and the entire FINA family for their active support and help making the convention a successful milestone in the FINA history. I also would like to express my deepest gratitude to all authorities of Doha and Qatar, namely the Minister of Sport, the Qatar Olympic Committee, and the Qatar Swimming Association for their commitment and enthusiasm in organization of this convention. I am sure that you will greatly benefit from all the discussion, the interesting topic, the exciting new ideas and exchange of knowledge that will be presented here over the next and the coming days. In conclusion, FINA is progressing in the right direction, developing and reinvesting in the sport, supporting and bringing benefits to the National Federation and improve the image and the value of, the, of its major events worldwide. This is mainly due to your hard work and devotion to aquatic. Please allow me to thank you for everything you do at all levels with your athletes, coaches, officials, and administrators for the development of our sport. I wish you a fruitful convention and hope that you all continue to engage for the success. Have a great time 
Indoha, thank you very much.